talk about recognizing the game. You know, you just kind of be like, you know, once once there's just like this, once there's like this fat stuff, you can kind of recognize, oh, that's what we're doing. It's all about like, oh, we stuff this level, stuff this level. Every time we push, it's a huge stuff. You know, and that's kind of you gonna have to recognize that, or you're gonna get chopped out in this shit. You're really like whether you're a short or a long, if you want it to go a direction, you're just going to get chopped. And so you have to recognize that like, this is very similar to whatever stock that was, right? Their game was, we're stuffing here, we're stuffing here, we're stuffing here. And so anytime you get up here, you're going to stop, you're going to stop. The game was also, we're not going to break down four, right? It, it's not going to happen at four. And so if you're a channel trader, right? This is about like this, this kind of trade is bows, like, like, donut with extra filling and extra, you know, glaze, you know, an extra, extra cream filling, extra glaze with chocolate milk on the side, right? Like for a range based channel scalper, where you're just going to always, no matter what, whatever the line is, you're going to put a short order there and you're going to cover the drop. This kind of trade is just like, like it's the gift that kind of keeps on giving to a, to a channel trader, but for, you know, someone trying to like look for a move either up or down and trying to build the position this kind of whip, whippy action shit is the bane of your existence. And so, I mean, it's the bane of mine. And so I, I, I realized I had to kind of give up on it. It's all about learning, you know, kind of what you want. The stuff can, this stuff, the stuff came on HSN. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that. And again, oh yeah, WHL, I don't think I traded that one. I really don't think I traded that one. I can't remember, but yeah i i don't think i did um i i remember i remember saying this like yeah like i i, I wasn't watching it i was watching something else whatever i was trading and i was like oh no what a cool what a, you know what a shitty miss but then like look i mean it, this kind of move dude that should yield higher that should really go you know that should really just effing do it that should really go the distance but this just, this is just i mean this one in a2sn kind of kind of shows you just how fucked the longs market is right now the short market might be getting harder than it was like a week or so ago you know it could be getting harder but um that definitely doesn't mean that it's getting better for the longs it's just longs still have to fight through some chop anyway I'll, I'll i'll get into it in a bit this is enough time to start oh fuck i was gonna yeah, and so today we're going to be talking about strength and weakness, uh, episode one, because uh, there will be a continuation to this one. I couldn't fit everything I wanted to talk about in this webinar, so so we're going to be talking about shit. We're going to be talking about strength and weakness here, but I need the intro music. This is kind of an example of like that overextended trend break, right? It's just kind of like we're kind of up, 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 and then kind of end of the day. Again, it sucks that it's happening so close to the so close to the end of the day. Like the market's out of time. It's kind of annoying uh, for a short to, to get this move. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the kind of trend break you want to see. It's just a little late. Anyway, AHPI, this is the 8-2 day. So you have to know that going in that there's a 10 level. Obviously, there's a 10 level. It happened here and it happened here. And the prior close here is 8.30. So those are the, those are the, oh, what happened to the chat? Uh, so for AHPI, these are the lines that I would draw coming into this day. Right? Um, coming in here, where's 10? 10. Also have 8:30. Where's 8:30? Oh, is it right there at the bottom? Is it going to be that nice? I can't tell. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's where the price is currently. That's 8:30. Yeah. So you got you know you got 10 from the prior day. Prior close is eight. Yeah, we'll call that 8:30. I mean, so this is really what you're going to have going on. Um, this kind of pops. This is, oh, this is not pre-market. This is the, this is the open. Great. So these are the, these are the kind of levels that I would be looking at just 
um, coming into the day. Uh, if I would probably be short bias on this rather than long bias, just because of the wiki day right before, um, you know, with no kind of days of settling or like consolidating in between it just, you know, the fact that we just kind of like push up immediately after on the second day without a consolidation day or two, um, I probably wouldn't be that bullish on it, uh, to start. And I'm guessing that there's not a whole lot of, um, I, I'm guessing there wasn't super important news on this day. Um, no, no super important news, but the short interest is really high. So that's a factor. Um, anyway, uh, just the fact that we kind of open the day. All right, this is the open. We kind of bring, I, I, you don't buy this push through. This is just, this is just hindsight. It looks like you could buy here. This is just. There's no buying that. Oh, look, it broke through 830. I mean, that's no volume. That could just stuff 830. Like, you don't buy that. But once it kind of gets up here, it looks like it halted. Um, uh, again, like, it kind of opens way up here. This is kind of a hard, you don't, like, unless you're a halt, like, trader, just ignore these halts for now. Wait for it to pull back. You're looking for a pullback into, like, the 850 range. You know, you're looking for a pullback, you know, if you're going to be bullish on the stock, you're looking for a pullback in between 850 and 830. Just because, you know, you look at this move, what's 50% of this kind of move, you know, from here, 760 to 9, 750, we'll call it, we'll call this 750 to 950, uh, 850 is right there in the middle, right? So you're looking for somewhere around here for a bounce if you're going to, if you're going to get a bounce on this stock long. But again, I probably wouldn't be. I would probably come into this looking for a push on 10 to short um, just because of the, the thing, just because of this. So if I'm buying here and I know that 10's up here, then my sell is going to be somewhere around the, I'd be, I'd be looking to sell around nines. Anywhere in the nines would probably be a good sell for me. Um, Again, the way this kind of held for a long time and kind of this really makes 850 really kind of sucky. So if you're trading this on the one minute chart, you're kind of boned. I probably wouldn't be buying this here. This is kind of like, this is kind of the only reason why you buy something like this here is if you have a larger time frame, time frame idea. And a larger time frame idea normally for me requires a catalyst. I'm not just going to trade something on a larger time frame than I normally do, which is the one minute. And that's like, there's something that I think can happen. And see, if you zoom out here on the five minute, what the fuck was that? 